how's it going guys cody guys back again dropping yet another video uh right guys as you can see from the title of the video the pictures the subsequent headline and the video uh this vlog is going to be on a, a story that's broken today about an incident that took place yesterday at hmp ewell now according to hmp ewell's uh wikipedia page it's a multi-category prison in redditch in worcestershire ran by her majesty's prison service capacity of approximately 1400 prisoners the story reads, guys, right? Rioting prisoners took over a prison wing yesterday, smashing up lights, CCTV cameras, and set fire to bedding and toilet rolls. You can see that in the, the video at the start, guys, yeah? Prisoners armed with table legs also turned on each other. The mob took over a landing as officers waited on the landing below for backup to arrive at the prison believed to be HMP Ewell. Footage obtained by The Sun shows inmates it taking makeshift weapons to lights, CCTV cameras and setting fire to bedding and toilet rolls. Other clips filmed on a mobile phone show drug addled cons. Now, this other clips that it's referring to, uh, I've, it's not yet been released. Uh, I'm going to search uh, social media. If I can get these clips, guys, I'll put them in a vlog format um, so that you guys can see them firsthand. Now, what I don't like is that how the Sun newspaper, right, put show drug adult cons, right? Now, you can't, they can't confirm that these prisoners were, were high on drugs. It's fueling a stereotype about prisoners, trying to show prisoners in a dark light that we're all druggies and everything else, right? And, and it, it's absolute nonsense, guys, right? It pads a story out. It fans the flames of hatred from the Joe public, who are like sheep, and believe everything they read um, about prisoners and stuff like that, and then he, and then you get Joe Public coming out with um, generic lines like, "Oh, I thought it was prison, not butlins with bars, holiday camps, and all this shit." Prisons are horrible places, guys. Simple as that. And this shows that for every action, right, there's a reaction. Yeah, right. So anyway, let's carry on. So cons walking around aimlessly with bloodied faces after brawling amongst themselves. One had his head split open. Sources said, right, so by sources they mean either the prisoner that's filmed the footage, prisoners from inside the prison, or a prison officer who has anonymously contacted the uh, Sun newspaper. Um, that's what they mean by sources, guys. It says inmates were protesting after water taps had been turned off for days. One also claimed he had been assaulted by officers. An insider, again, a prison source or a prison officer or a prisoner within the prison who's then told their family on the outside or has contacted the Sun News Desk on his own uh, has led on to this. He says an insider told the Sun this has been threatening to happen for weeks in the violence riddled prison. The multi-category prison has been plagued by drugs and violence in recent months. In January, a prisoner was arrested on suspicion of murder after an inmate was found dead. Earlier this year, 10 people were arrested in dawn raids over a suspected drone drug smuggling ring linked to the prison. The source said that new young staff recruits were struggling to cope with the onslaught. In a separate story, which is tied into this, but it's a separate prison, states here, uh, there was an incident yesterday that took place at HMP Lewes, which is down towards Brighton Way, Sussex, Lewes area, um, in which four prisoners went on the rampage on a wing, uh, a prison service spokesman said staff resolved an incident involving four prisoner HMP Lewes. There were no injuries to staff or prisoners after a mini riot at the prison yesterday. So that was HMP Lewes. Now, guys, right, what you've got to look at, right, is why prisoners are doing this, right? Why prisoners at HMP Ewell have kicked off. Now, if they've turned all the water off for, for the landings and stuff, right, you can't wash you can't brush your teeth. Depending on what prison you're in, guys, and what regime you're running, you can spend anything up to 22 to 23 hours a day locked up. Again, that depends on what prison you're in and what regime you're running, right? So you can't wash, you can't brush your teeth. What else can't you do? You can't flush your toilet. You're spending 22, 23 hours a day locked up in your cell. Again, it, depending on what the regime is at that prison, right? Um, and then, like I say, you, you, your excrement, your shit and your piss are sat there in the toilet, uh, there's little or no ventilation. Your clothes are not far away. So what happens? The smell lingers, gets into your clothes and stuff, right? It's not hygienic. It's a breach of the prisoner's human rights. 
um, and it's just it's wrong on so many levels. Now you can't treat prisoners like that. They, they bring the smoking ban in. The, the, the Prison Officers Association lobbied for the smoking ban. In my honest opinion, they did that because they knew it would antagonise prisoners. They know we'd see an increase in violence. And then they would use that violence to say, We're not, we don't feel safe on the wings, on the landings. We want tasers. We want extendable batons. We want stab-proof vests. We want uh, parva spray, which has been currently being piloted in four prisons. Um, violence will breed violence, guys. You, you want to brutalise prisoners and expect prisoners to take it. At one point, they will all stand together, they will come together, and it will explode into violence, right? Um, in my opinion, for, for, for change to come to the prison system, it will take another riot similar to the Strangeways riots back in 1990, which to this day is still Britain's longest ever prison riot. Um, on the back of it, we saw um, sanitation installed into prisons and stuff like that, right? But since then, if, if, if I'm being honest, in my opinion, uh, we're actually going back to the sort of prisons are as bad as they was um, at the time of the strange ways, right, back in 1990, apart from you've got a TV in your cell and sanitation. But have you really got sanitation when they're turning the taps off, guys, right? So like I say, if you treat people like animals, right, you shouldn't then be surprised if they act like animals, right? Like I say, for every action, there is a reaction, right? The prison service are trying to, to, to poke sleeping dogs by the prisoners, they're locked up, you're locked up behind your door like a caged animal, right? You've got mental health within, you've got mental health problems, massive problems within prison. You've got a lot of prisoners with um, issues and stuff like that. You've got frustration, you've got anger, you're locked up, right? You fucking treatment, conditions, regimes, right? The smoking ban then pushes tobacco into contraband. Where you've got contraband, guys, right? You've got debt. Where you've got debt, you've got bullying, intimidation, fear and violence, right? Prisons are cauldrons, guys, that are boiling over, bubbling over. They have been for a very long time. People often say to me, Cody, why are prisoners not rioting, right? It's hard to riot when you're locked up for so long, right? Like I say, Forest Bank, yeah, I got pure association. When I was in Strangeways, guys, I was getting an hour a day, an hour to two hours a day, which one consisted of an hour on the yard for exercise and an hour on association. Sometimes you didn't even get association. It was just, you go out on the yard for an hour. In strange ways, you eat behind your door. So you pretty much, you are locked up 23 hours a day, right? Like I say, we're social people, we're social creatures, guys, right? And like I say, being locked behind your door, in my opinion, the most dangerous thing in prison isn't other prisoners, isn't the spice or anything else. It's your own thoughts, man, right? And like I say, um, understaffing then that has a domino effect and stuff like that where the regimes are more harsher right and like I say prisoners getting out for longer uh, for, for shorter periods of time but you see record numbers of assaults record numbers of self-harm and I believe this year we're going to see record numbers of um, um, suicides right unfortunately I hope that isn't the case but looks to be that way now like I say if, if you are if you are treating prisoners like this right like they can't when, you, when you're living in these conditions and treat like being treated like this, right, people say, why are they not rioting, right? It's hard to riot when you're spending longer times behind your door, right? The regimes are so harsh. The treatment and conditions, it demoralizes you, it makes you, it desensitizes you, dehumanizes you, and makes you more disenfranchised, right? So prisoners' morale is very low. Some prisoners don't want to get extra time added to the sentence. If you look at the strange ways, right, it's back in 1990, all those that took part in that prison riot, right, gave 10 years, they got 10 years extra onto their sentence, right, because of that riot, right, and it changed the prison system for everybody, it brought sanitation in, but again, there's still cells in, in the prison system, about 1,298 cells that still don't have in-cell sanitation, and then at HMP Ewell, the prison officers are like, let's shake the cage, let's wind them up, let's turn the water off, you know what I'm saying, you're winding these people up, right, like I say, the, the punishment of prison is losing your liberty, right? Once you get over that, right, prison should be places of reform, education, a healthy regime, um, skills training and education, right? Unfortunately, at HMP Ewell, um, it's seen all the usual stories of same stories everywhere else. Prisons, violence, drugs, spice, riots, um, understaffing. It all amalgamates, right? And it, and it, explosive consequences guys now like i say for me personally i believe it will take a strange ways riot um again in another prison um for it to change the system 
But rather than be proactive, the Ministry of Justice will react once it blows up. We're off the government's agenda, guys. It's as simple as that. Now, these prison at HMP Ewell, I would be on the phone and I'd be pulling a judicial review of the prison saying, look, they turn the water off. Uh, they're locking us behind our door. Uh, we can't even get showers, stuff like that. I, I, I would be pulling a judicial review of the prison. I would want to, I'd be on my briefs case. I'll be putting com, what, uh, complaints in on, on the wings. You've got apps, comps, comps ones, uh, so on and so forth, right? Because like I say, if you treat prisoners like this, you're in prison, your head's pickled, yeah? You might be having a laugh and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. We have the good times in jail. I'm here to dispel the myth and try and show the other side of the prison thing, yeah? Now, like I say, these lads in prison, they don't want to kick off, right? But they're being forced to kick off because the hands be... They're taking exception to it, thinking, you know what? I'm not being fucking treated like this. I'm in jail. It's bad enough, right? And on top of that, they want to fuck with our head. We can't even get a fucking... We can't shower. We can't wash. We can't brush our teeth. We can't flush the fucking toilet. My, stel my cell stinks of fucking shit, right? I'm locked behind my door. You know what I'm saying? Right? It's not good, man. And I'm sorry that I'm going on a rant, guys. Right? It's just really wound me up. And like I say, you saw the consequences. You, you see the you see the reaction, right? For every action, there's a reaction. Now, when you look at the video, guys, yeah, you can obviously you see you can see the toilet roll uh, around the metal work and stuff that's being set on fire. Um, you see the prisoner with the wooden leg taking it at the CCTV camera. Um, that's what he's smashing off the wall. You see him smashing it. Uh, it's a plastic construction. It's got like a little glass globe, like a see-through globe thing there just so it, and it the, the camera looks down the landing right he's taken that off the finger and like i say um it's going to happen more and more guys like the smoking ban is a, in my opinion uh has seen another increase in violence within prisons 53 percent in welsh prisons 21 percent here in uh, english prisons and stuff um like i say it's only going to get worse guys the prison officers association lobbied for the smoking ban in my opinion knowing it would antagonize prisoners prisoners would then react and then they would use the violence that they receive to then say to the ministry of justice if you don't give us parva spray tasers uh bullet uh, stab proof vests um batons pat and all this stuff right that we're going to strike now currently in the prison system right according to mark first poa national chair in an interview that i did which is further down my timeline about three weeks ago he said that um Parva has been piloted in four prisons. Um, this man wants prison, he wants prison officers armed with tasers, right? Tactical use of tasers, where he states that they can, if a prisoner's not compliant, they can taser them. If they don't comply. Now you've got prisoners that are mentally ill within the prison system. Prisons are just cheap alternatives to psychiatric units. About £40,000 a year to, to, to house a, a, a prisoner or... 10 times that to put them in a psychiatric unit. Um, so like I say, it, it, prison is just cheap alternatives, guys. But like I say, if you don't comply because you, you, you're kicking off during a psychotic episode, they want to taser you. Violence will breed violence, guys, right? And like I say, am I surprised that the incident has taken place at HMP Yule? Absolutely not. Is it going to happen again in other prisons? Absolutely. Um, have the, have the, have the, do you think that Her Majesty's Prison and um, uh, the Ministry of Justice have ran... So the newspapers to say oh, this is happening in our prison no what they've done the prisoner has got that footage out sent it to a loved one on the outside the loved one then will have contacted the the sun newspaper because that's who's run it's there it's their exclusive um, and said look i've got some footage of violence with inside a prison um, it's a very short clip the sun newspaper would have gone and met the the prisoner's family because the prisoner can obviously he's locked up and then the, there'll be a contract in place where they'll probably get two grand, a grand an hour, two, three grand for that footage. Um, and then the person that gets the money, they get it once the article's published, which has been published today. So it can take about, I think, two, three weeks for them to get paid. Um, and then, like I say, that money then, that person on the out will then send money to the prisoner inside because the prisoner can't be making money whilst he's in prison because they're not allowed to. But if he sends that footage to a third party, i.e. His, his family or his girlfriend or something, she can then say, go to the media and say, he's given me permission for the copyright. Uh, I will sell it to you so you guys can publish it, right? And if, and if they haven't, right, then like I say, they're giving this footage away for free. 
but it shows the embarrassment for the Ministry of Justice and Her Majesty's Prison Service. Prisoners, guys, like I say, you can't rattle the cage, you can't treat them that way and not expect them to, to, to retaliate. You just can't, right? Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here, guys. I'm sorry that it's like been a bit of a rant and stuff like that. Like, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll speak to you all soon. All right, guys, bye.